okay, Steve, I know you had to wait a year, but was it worth it? Oh, 100%, absolutely. And uh, even your call that I was happy to receive the call because obviously you weren't David Baker. Uh, that all played a part of it. So, yeah, it was definitely worth the wait. And uh, I'm glad you're here to celebrate with us. You know, I guess I'm part of your Hall of Fame story. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm the blooper part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun, though. I, I yeah. was glad it was you. I was never more excited yeah. to get a call from you, Mike. You know, I was talking in there. Uh, I talked to you, saw some friends at the Inverness when I wrote the book, The 50 Greatest Broncos, and I couldn't separate you and Dennis Smith. Right. You, you talk about, I think I had that right too. You were both tied for 12th. Yes. At the time, neither one of you were considered for the Hall of Fame. Yes. Now I guess Dennis is next that we have to work on. We gotta work on, God, we got to, man, we got to, man. He's a great player, even better person, uh, and you know, he played a huge part in my career as, as a football player and as a, and as a person. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that you know, this will, you know, him, him being in this environment, he can be able to get around a lot of guys that he played against. They have a ton of respect for him. Hope that'll get him back in the groove of, uh, you know, getting getting a little bit of publicity for himself. What uh, what did he say to you when you put on the gold jacket? Do you remember? I just said he's, he's happy for me. He's proud of me. And, uh, you know, I just told him, hey, thank you, you know, because, you know, without him, I don't think I'm here. A heck of a class. I mean, do, do you feel immortal? Do you feel like... Uh, is it sunk in how special it is to be in the Hall of Fame? It's sinking in. It's sinking in. It's, and uh, we, we had a meeting today earlier today with just the Hall of Famers. Nitschke uh, luncheon. Yeah, Nits Nitschke luncheon. And, uh, you know, it was kind of emotional just hearing some of the guys talk. And, you know, we were realizing that, hey, we're all getting a little bit older. And, you know, we got to make sure that we kind of stick together and make sure we stay in communication with one another. Uh, so it's just a whole another brotherhood that uh, I've been welcomed into, and it's, it's definitely an honor. Can you say who the quarterback you want? Uh, Drew Lock or Teddy Bridgewater? <laughs> For another day, maybe. <laughs> another day. I got to see more. I got to yeah. see more. I okay, see a little bit that, more. Yeah. All right, that's yeah. a good answer. Yeah, I'm yeah. actually the preseason. Yeah, it's preseason, and um, you know, from my point of view, like Drew Lock, he's the incumbent. You know, I think he should get the first shot at it, and if he loses it, he loses it. Uh, okay. But you know, I, I, that's, that's that's me though. You know, I'm not I'm, I'm not an offense coordinator. I'm not a quarterbacks coach. None of that. Not trying to be that. But um, you know, I, I just feel like you know he's had the uh, you know the experience with the offensive line, the receivers, and that um, that you know it's kind of his job to lose. But hey, we'll see. Thanks for taking the time. Enjoy the party. We'll do, Mike. Appreciate right. you, man. Take care. Yeah. Right. Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, man. That's right. What's up, bro? How's it going?